Good day. Welcome to King Mills Everything. Today we're going to talk about networking, specifically testing network equipment. Uh, a lot of times you'll find that it's the wiring that's bad, and that's usually a good place to start, especially if you've got uh, like fiber optic stuff. Yeah, and equipment's kind of like flaky. you got the ports going up and down or links going up and down. This is the device you're going to want, and it's fairly inexpensive. It is a fiber light. So let you do some testing. Basically, you're shooting a laser down the, the fiber strand, looking at the other end, not in your eye. And if light comes out, you got a good chance. It's probably good. If it's dim, maybe not so good. So it's kind of like a good visual indicator. And it's like not perfect, but it's a good first step. It's cheap. It's fast. And, you know, if you got light, good. No light, bad. So I got this one. I believe this was off of um, eBay. You can get it on Amazon. Uh, you don't have to spend a ton of money, especially if you're just starting out. You know, get a you know, $200 fluke, and it's just a laser beam. Uh, and this one's actually pretty cool. It came in a little case. Um, I had little fiber jumpers myself, but you see, it's just a little laser beam. And I like this one because it has a cap that's got a little chain on it. So when you take it off, you don't lose the cap because, you know, you're out and about in the field or in some cabinet somewhere. You know, you put down the cap, and you, you lost the cap. So I kind of thought that was kind of cool. And this one's pretty heavy duty. Uh, I have some fluke ones, and they're the nice, you know, yellow ones with blue, and they got nice soft, and you know, they're they're okay. But this one actually kind of blows it away. It's got a very strong light. Uh, it has two modes, and even the fluke ones, the better ones do too. It has on and blink. Come on, blink. There you go. It's blinking. So what you can do is you can if you got two of these. And the fibers have two strands. You can sh put a, a solid one on one and a blinky on the other one. And go at the far end because a lot of times you're out there by yourself. So you have to, you know, go, you know, 3,000 feet away or 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 feet away to see the other end. So it's nice to have an indicator and have to go back, you know, put it on the first strand, check it, walk back, put it on the other strand, walk back, walk back again. Kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but usually what I would do, and I do this on jumpers too. So like a little uh, multi-mode one. Uh, it's always good. Even out of the bag, you'll find sometimes the fiber jumpers are bad. You know, they tested them, put them in the bag, and then, you know, they fold on them up and something kinked, something got broke. So it's a good th good to test these even straight out of the bag. So I'm going to kind of show you a little sample. Take your little LED, put it on the ST connector. And, and if they're, you have LC connectors, um, you can put a little barrel connector on it and, you know, put a ST to ST on there and test it that way. But we just got a ST one. This is pretty common. Put it in the little hole. See the little hole? Like that. And then when you turn it on, you kind of see already it's glowing. But let's get that off there. So you can kind of see it's got quite the bright light. And one thing you don't do, you don't ever shine a fiber light in your eye. Even, uh, you never take just a fiber strand and poke it in your eye and look and see if you can see down like that. Because uh, a lot of times the fiber, the um, laser is invisible to the eye and you're going to really hurt your eyes. You'll be sore at the end of the day that your eyes will be burning. So even if you're not sure if it's working, don't go like this and see, do I see a light? Um, you want to kind of take it like this. And you can see this one's very bright because this is a really, really bright, uh, uh, fiber tester so and if you like said you plug it in the other one and you have two of them plug in the other one you see one's like really bright and one's dim you know somewhere along the way this strand is bad or it's got a kink or it's dirty most likely dirty but so and i say it works on um single mode so if you got a single mode jumper like this fellow here you can plug it in here same thing it's just a light you can see it's kind of glowing at that end so we know that one's probably good like I said, it's not a tell-all, but it's a good first step at testing a fiber, especially if you suspect, you know, something's dirty. And you're going to find uh, most fiber, uh, they usually don't go bad. You know, sometimes you get a, a fiber jumper or a strand that, you know, it's got kinks somewhere along the way, or you'll find maybe one of these jumpers is something, something's bad, you know. And you replace the jumper, it's good. But a lot of times it's just, it's just dirty, so you, you do a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of cleaning with fiber. But this is, like I said, this is where you want to start with one of these fellows. So do a search for um, for a fiber light on eBay or Amazon. Probably Amazon's your better bet. And you'll see a lot of these. These are like the Chinese ones. But I'll tell you what. Uh, this one, I think, was rated for like 10 miles. I think it says on here. can't remember. 
like 10 miles or so. And you can see it's quite bright. Compared to the Fluke one, this one is way brighter. Is it on? There you go. So I really like this one. And the fact that it has a nice little cap, a lot of the ones just have a cap and you drop the cap in the dirt, you lost the cap. This one at least will keep it this clean because the last thing you want to do is contaminate a working fiber, you know, if you're testing stuff. And this is open, got dirt in it, you poke that in there. Oh, that's all right. Then now you just contaminated this fellow and you're cleaning. You know, or you got to clean this fellow out. So anyway, thought that I'd share that with you. You know, if you're going to start testing fiber, get yourself a little fiber light, a little laser LED uh, tester. And that's the best way to start off. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And you, that's you. Have a great day.